Hi everyone, in this video we're going to be talking about if OSPF or EIGRP is hybrid. The title of the video says OSPF is a hybrid protocol, EIGRP is not. You may find some sources on the internet claiming that EIGRP is a hybrid protocol, OSPF is not. Well, to me it's the other way around. Let me give you my reasons. <clears throat> I shall start with the term hybrid. I put some I put a couple of cars labeled gas, electric, and hybrid here. And if I were to ask you to classify these cars in groups, you would definitely put gas cars in one group, these, and electric cars in another group, and hybrid cars in, in one group. And if I were to ask you why you classified the way you did, you would probably say to me that you did so according to their power sources. This is the distinctive characteristic. Power source here is the distinctive characteristic. So here's a question for you. Are these wheels or seats or how fast or comfortable these cars are? Do you think they are considered to be properties of this distinctive characteristic? Do you think they are the properties? They are not the properties. Obviously not. You will get the point that I'm trying to make uh, in, in a bit. So first let's move to routing uh, protocols. Let me just change this. Yes. I put the names of the five routing protocols here, EIGRP, RIP, BGP, ISIS and OSPF here. We could possibly classify them according to their purpose. They can be either EGP or IGP. Or we could classify them use, uh, according to their behavior. They can be classless or classful. Or we could classify them according to their operation. They can be either link state or distance vector. Now, one thing I noticed reading the posts or comments regarding this topic is that EIGRP, <coughs> EIGRP is claimed to be a, a hybrid protocol because it uses uh, some properties of LSA, uh, a, a, a link state. And the properties they say what makes EIGRP hybrid are primarily these two properties. Okay, so forming neighborship and triggered updates. They claim that these two properties belong to link state and EIGRP has or uses these two uh, properties. Hence, um, th th that's why they, they call EIGRP is a, is a hybrid protocol. Okay, well, um, given BGP forms neighborships, this would make BGP hybrid then, wouldn't it? Or in the case of triggered updates, even if version 2 has it. So if these properties belong to link state, then BGP or version 2 would not have them. Or, or version 2 or BGP would be hybrid, right, as well. So these properties do not belong to link state. EIGRP is a distance vector protocol. Distance means how far and vector means which way. <clears throat> EIGRP doesn't have the complete map of the topology. It doesn't even know what is what is what is there behind its 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 neighbors. What about OSPF? The, is it a hybrid protocol? Yes it is. And I'll tell you why. First, OSPF operates as link state. Let me just move to I have this topology here, four routers, area 0 and area 1. We know that OSPF operates as link state within an area and it operates distance vector between areas. R2, R3 and R4 are in area 0 and R1 and R2 are in area 1. Let me show you what I mean. <clears throat> uh, 
these three routers are two, three, and four are in the same area. And the rule is that all routers have to have the same, the exact same database. Let, let's check. I'll issue a command show IP OSPF 19.0 database. 19 is the process ID and 0 is the number of uh, the area 0. I just want to see the database on router 4. And I'll issue the same command on R3 and R2. See, we have the exact same database on R2, R3, and R4. On R4, say we are on R4 now, we can see that the network 3.3.3.3 is behind R3. Let's check. Show IP OSPF database. These are the routers. These are, let, let's say, type 1s. I have 1, 2, 3 routers in area 0, and one of them is router 3. If I issue this command, it will show me that this router 3 has this network. As you see, router 2, 3, and 4 have the same exact database and they have the complete map of the, the area 0. Th this is how the link state works. As opposed to the network behind R1, which is 1.1.1.1. If I want to see, I show IP root 1.1.1.1, uh, it says that router 4 has learned this route from R2, which is RABR. Show IP OSPF summary, excuse me, database summary, 0 .0 .0 or 1 .1 .1 .1. This is link states, links LSA type 3, and router 2 is the ABR, which sent this LSA to us. And he says that the distance between him, I mean uh, R2, R and uh, this network is 65. This is the distance. Now, basically, what I, R2 is saying is this is network 1.1.1, and this is me, and this is the distance between me and this network, which is 65. <coughs> And if I do show IP OSPF border routers, which is going to show me the ABRs and ASPRs in my in this area, R2, R, R4, on R4 we see that router 2 is an ABR. This is a routing table, by the way, for, router, for routers. The distance between us, which is router 4, and router 2 is uh, 64. Basically, this is me, router 4. And this is the distance between me and router 2, which is 64. And we have this network here, 1.1.1.1. Uh, and the distance between these two are 65. It's going to be 129. The total different, the, the, uh, distance is 129. Let's make sure. Show IP root 1.1.1.1. This is the total distance. What we have here is router Four knows two things: distance, which is 129, and the vector this way. We have no idea about router one. What we see is only router two. This is exactly what or how distance vector works. Uh, that's um, that's it. And I, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. And I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below.